In this video, we compare and contrast thin client computing with thick client computing. Client thickness refers to the amount of processing and storage the client handles compared to the server it is connected to. So, there are some advantages to both approaches. Let's first look at thick client computing. Well, it can be considered more robust and reliable, resulting in greater uptime and availability of services. It's the preferred solution the heavy duty or resource hungry software applications because the servers are more powerful. It can operate without a constant connection to a central server. As with everything in computer science, there's obviously some downsides too. It's often more expensive and requires high specification client computers. Every client needs its own software, increasing the effort of the network administration team. And due to the non centralized, distrusted nature, this method is more prone to integrity issues. So now let's look at thin client computing. Well, with the advantages, software updates can be handled on the server and automatically installed on every client. It's easy to set up and configure, for example, adding new terminals, and it's much more secure as all the data is stored in a central place, the server. Of course, there are disadvantages with this approach too. It's very reliant on the central server. If it goes down, most functionality is lost. It's also dependent, therefore, on this very powerful and reliable central server, which of course is expensive and this places much higher demands on bandwidth on your network. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What do we mean by thin client and thick client computing? And how do they differ?